welcome back, welcome back to another installment of your episodic love life. Let's see what your messages are. Um, everything that you need from me, bookings, purchases, um, extended readings, everything is below this video. If you want to um, check all that out. Gosh, now listen, I've been shuffling and... <laughs> Kisses keeps coming out and sunglasses. Kisses, though, keeps coming out. I feel like some, yeah, okay. So somebody wants to kiss you. Let's just keep it really simple. Somebody's falling in love. I feel like you keep getting this message, Virgo. Um, somebody's watching you <laughs> with the sunglasses, stalking, looking, gaslighting, perception, focusing outward. Somebody's hiding behind their sunglasses are hiding behind something, watching you, looking to see what you're up to, or just watching you do whatever you do. Somebody wants to kiss you and is falling in love with you. I don't know what exactly it is that you're doing. They might see you somewhere or somehow. Look at that. I've got like this little, um, I don't know, a mark on my card, but it looks like the shape of a crescent moon. So for some of you, it could be a Pisces, um, but the moon is also like deceptive energy as well. So somebody's hiding, not showing true feelings here. Okay, let's see. Oh, healthy choices is here again. Interesting. And okay, so Virgo, you're in separation from somebody, okay? Um, not talking to someone. There's a lack of communication. Um, I feel like whomever you're not in connection with at this time or you're separating from, um, there's an energy here of somebody, like this person is thinking about you. They don't know what to think is going to happen in the future. Um, maybe some of you, you may or may not know this person, but I feel like whoever this person is, they're making changes in their life, making healthier choices in their in their love life and in life. Um, trying to be happy at this time when during this separation, somebody's trying to cope with an absence, okay? Um, and at the same time, that absence, I feel like is causing this person to seek you out, um, is falling in love more like absence makes the heart grow fonder so i feel like this is what's going on here with this person they can't stop thinking about you they don't know what to do how things are gonna like what the future could if there's a possible future between you okay let me see here somebody's trying to get in shape eat better uh, watch their diet. They're, they're, you know, like when people separate or when people break up, there's always that tendency, okay, well, we're gonna, I'm going to do me now. I'm going to do and get into this self-care energy. And for some of you, that's something you're doing, but this other person is also doing this. So they're working on self, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, making some changes, okay? Yeah, somebody's really, they're like, they're Jones and for you. <laughs> and again, with this Pisces energy, okay, we're, I'm going to get off the signs um, throughout this reading, take a break from these signs. But the Knight of Cups is somebody who, you know, it's an energy of wanting to come in and offer their love, um, tell you that they love you, tell you that they just, you're like their heart is swelling, um, their heart is becoming fonder as they're making these changes while you and they are in separation but i feel like this person's either watching you or looking for you um their perception of you seems to be different they're focusing outward while they're also focusing on self it's almost like you're inspiring this person to want to be better for you okay that's a strange message okay Hmm, strength. So, hmm, this person's going to get up some damn courage, maybe a little liquid courage, and um, come in and make some kind of love offer or proposal of some sort to you. And, you know, we saw that yesterday, but this is somebody I feel like whom there's some kind of separation. 
you don't have to have had a long relationship with them. Um, this could have just been somebody that you dated for a little bit and maybe you fell off the face of the earth or something didn't work out and you are just some of you are just doing your like taking care of business doing what you need to do for self and i feel like this whoever this person is there's this where's virgo uh where's virgo what's virgo doing i just saw the four of wands okay so there's definitely an energy there of commitment and trying to make an attempt to build some kind of structure or have a reunion of some sort okay yeah there's nine of swords this person and the ten of wands exa mentally stressed physically exhausted at this time there's you <clears throat> this person they know or they make are making an assumption that you are well, number one, um, they're wondering if you have somebody else or if you're talking to somebody else or if you um, have other another option, you're communicating with somebody else somehow. They are looking to see or they're making this assumption somehow that <clears throat> maybe you have um, feelings for somebody else or you have a crush or something somewhere else or you're... Um, you're just talk it feels like just talking to another person like communicating with somebody else like in a very passionate way okay um and i feel like that's why this person is physic or is mentally well yeah mentally and physically stressed um they're completing some type of um physical work at this time and i feel like this person's going to um you know, maybe they've been caught up, they had a deadline or something, but I feel like they're going to try to make a move towards you um, again with that June energy, but I'm also feeling, so we're going into July a little bit here, let me see. Oh, they also wonder, so this person's a little conflicted, here's a Ten of Swords, they're not sure if it's that you're talking to somebody else or you're busy with a child so I feel like this person is kind of trying to reassure themselves that you um, either reassure or hope that you're not with another person um, so they're telling themselves well you maybe Virgo is just busy with their kids or they're a kid a child or um, maybe little brothers and sisters or uh, younger a younger like it feels like maybe a teenager or a child of some sort but the ten of swords is here I mean this person is surrendering completely like has is hitting rock bottom completely defeated okay oh yeah this person is recalling something maybe that you said to them they're remembering your words they're remembering so a little bit of your sass i feel like they're telling me they're saying your sass you had some kind of like some truth bomb that you dropped or a little sass that kind of i don't it's i don't feel like because you're not talking to this person right now but there's this whatever you said i feel like caused this person to just bottom out they're recalling and yet at the same time it was true and they know it was true that's why they're making these changes with the healthy choices here that's why they're making some changes within self like whatever you said to this person i feel like it really hit them like mentally you know they have a lot of stress and anxiety about that But I also feel like this, this, it's weird. It's, it's like they may have distanced themselves in the past. They were too busy with other things. Um, and that because they had like, um, maybe an avoidant anxious kind of thing going on. But now maybe you said that to them or you just told this person, you know, it's, why should we date? You're never around. You're not interested. 
other priorities. You're not intentionally dating. You're, you might have told this person you're just kind of hanging around. And that's not what you want. And you're doing that because you're just scared or you are fearful of commitment. And it feels like that really hit them. If it, you know, it doesn't have to be this exact words, but something to that effect was said, and that really like made this person realize, and they want to talk to you here, Queen of Swords energy. They want to communicate and uh, try to overcome whatever these obstacles are, or tell you that they're making changes. They're making healthy choices. They're um, learning how to be happy again, and they're they realize that they've you know made mistakes um, with you or just in general. Okay, yep. Look at that. You really hit that person in the ego. Seriously, you really cause this person to have to make a decision. Um, that's what they're thinking about. Whatever you said to them. Here they are with that tower energy and the two of wands, like at the crossroad. You're forcing forcing somebody's hand here, Virgo. And it might just be during a separation you're doing it. Like you're you're forcing somebody's hand by way of um, not making the decisions for them. You're just backing out. You separated. Okay? And basically leaving the ball, and you left it in somebody's court and said, well, you do what you got to do, right? So, yeah, this person is making the decision here with the lovers to just come into union. I feel like this person really does love you, and they're coming to terms with that, and they're feeling that energy during the separation. There's just this missing you. You know, the more... <laughs> The more separation, the more you and this person are not in each other's lives, the more they feel the absence, the more they're feeling this void. Okay? So let's take a look at you. I want to see. Okay. You have the Six of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So you're taking care of your own business, Virgo. You're doing your own thing, taking care of your, your bills. Um, being responsible, taking care of whatever priorities there are in your life. You're being quite dutiful. Um, looking at your pentacle, this is just the general spiel of it for you. I mean, you're... I don't see you being too, like, out of control of anything. Look, there you go with the Knight of Pentacles. So you have all this pentacle energy. So you're really just kind of like, well, you know, if this person comes in and wants to offer something great it has to be a solid steady offer they are coming in though with more of an emotional offer a love offer um that might not work for you because you might need a little bit more stability something more solid from this person which i feel like is that's your energy here with the knight of uh, pentacles the knight of pentacles is if you're going to get any offers this is the best one to get because it's slow and steady and it's real it's tangible you know it's grounded but on the emotional front i feel like this person they're an emotional person they're more even if they don't express it outwardly they feel it more deeply this person has more um they have a romantic side if they didn't, they do now. <laughs> okay, so the King Cups, that's what I was saying. Very deep, deep, deep emotions. You're more in the energy, like you can be very truthful and honest, but you're more um, practical, I feel. Um, not as overly emotional. I mean, not all of you, it just depends where your placements are. Um, but there's the three of swords so yeah whoever this person is to you that you're in separation with like they're completely feeling the heartbreak for sure um swords in their heart you might have there might have been three major things that were a big deal um, that might have happened in the connection one to three things that was communicated to this person and there those are those three areas that they're making those changes okay let me see yeah see you've got the 
Ten of Cups. So you're looking for that happily ever after. Definitely. That's what you want. And you want the real thing. Okay. Well, I can tell you what. I feel like this person, you know, is definitely seeing where what areas they need to get healthier and to make change. And I feel like the more time that you are or have been or will be away from this person, the more the energy uh, causes them to really take a look at themselves and say, you know, because they love you, there's unconditional love here. Um, they have fallen in love with you or they are. And it's kind of like, I'm just seeing, hearing that um, Grease song, um, You're the One That I Want, You Better Shape Up, <laughs> that kind of energy. And I feel like this person's like, oh, okay. If, if there's any chance that I'm going to have with Virgo, I'm going to need to shape up and straighten some stuff out. I can't, I can't just, um, whatever it was, however things were before, I don't feel like that's, that, that worked. And you might have given this person some sass or told them um, that's not going to fly. Okay, so let's take a look and see what... romance angels messages are here i feel like this person you know really does have these feelings for you they have very romantic feelings towards you okay past life relationship you have known each other before um so in another world in another time there was a connection that was made with this person um or at least it felt like that it feels like that for them but for you as well okay doesn't mean that it was healthy but um this just basically says well for some of you, you may actually have known this person in your past but also this is more past life stuff so i feel like there's something like you and this person have been through this situation before but in a different lifetime and every time you meet in different lifetimes, the energy is constantly being called for growth and change in order to come into this lover's union, which is twin flame. So this could be twin flame and separation. You know this is the person, you love this person, the anger you feel and the hatred or the resentment, if you feel that way, or this never going back kind of thing. I think when you're healed, um, you know, you really wouldn't care either way about, you wouldn't have such an absolute on this connection. Um, you would probably just be like, yeah, not for me, you know, but there is something about this relationship that <clears throat> you've experienced before with this person, or you both definitely recognize that this is a connection where there is a familiarity. There's a similarity as well. Okay, but there's unrequited love here. And, um, you know, the card says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. I don't really feel like that's the energy. I feel like it's unrequited because it's a lost love. And I feel like it's unrequited because somebody here, whether that's you or this person or both of you, were making decisions that were unhealthy. Okay? For some of you, it's this person, which we're looking at their energy. Um, now, in the past, if you know, if you were together, you both could have been in a toxic situation. You may have healed from that. You may have been in this position now where you've grown spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. You've made huge changes and strides in your life, and you're kind of like, I know what I need to do now. I know it's healthy. I know it's not. I know where my boundaries need to be. So you're making these changes. This person's kind of like catching up to you. That's what I feel like. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Okay, so if you are just keeping busy and putting this person, like I said, you maybe just... They may have gotten put on the back burner because you are now tending to other things in your life and you're not trying to fix anybody. And 
you might be dating other people or meeting others, keeping your options open, living your life. And during all of this, this is where this person's changes are starting to occur. I don't know if there's regret, but I do know that this person is really missing you. Okay. I love you. Uh, yeah, this person, they love you, whoever they are. Definitely afraid to contact you, but I feel like they're going to do it anyway. Maybe right now at this reading, I think they have a fear that if they reach out to you, they don't want to know that you have somebody else. They don't want to know that you're, you've completely given up, so they're hesitant about reaching out. Okay. But I feel like with the strength card, this person is going to get the courage because they wish things could be different. They don't want it to, okay, you might have been friends with this person and something happened. Um, somebody might have fallen in love and then the friendship, it got awkward and then you guys went your separate ways. Well, I feel like either this person, if they left, they're having a change of heart. They may have told you they only wanted to be friends, but now it's like, actually, hmm, <laughs> now that you're gone, why am I feeling my heart pounding when I think about you? What's going on here? I love you unconditionally. There you go. That's twice. Gosh, Virgo. So they wish they had treated you better. Um, maybe not have just not broken the connection. I feel like this person um, struggles. They struggle with expressing their feelings, okay? And I feel like that's not going to be the case anymore because now it's like they realize that in this separation, it's where they're feeling it, that they may, that like there might not be another chance and their heart is now beginning to yearn. I do want to get some Chinese signs. Let's see what this message is. Okay, so your person or you might be a rabbit, year of the goat, year of the ox, year of the rat, okay, year of the horse, year of the rooster, and ox again, year of the tiger. Oh, year of the goat again and year of the pig okay so it's either both of you one of you or none of you all right let's take a look it doesn't mean it's not your message though all right let's take a look at let's see moon, moon message for Virgo I'm gonna try and keep your video a little shorter today so you can just get the straight direct message. All right, moon message for Virgo. Okay, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. So as usual, Virgo, you take your dreams and then you, you, into, you take your, your dreams, your visions, your goals, the things you want, your desires, um, and you find a way to attain those through practical application. I feel like that's how you are, Virgo, which is great. Um, you don't live, you have your dreams, but you don't live in like sugar plum fairy world. Like you may envision things and then you write your vision board. You put it all down. You make plans about how you want to attain your, your dreams and your goals. So if you've got some dreams right now that you're not sure about, um, but it, they might just be coming to you or you get some kind of message in a dream, write it down. Start writing your dreams down and you begin to see a pattern. If you feel like you don't know what your dreams are trying to tell you, start writing it down. Okay, emotions are running high. And also, this person is doing the same. I feel like the person you are connected with was more of a dreamer than they were someone who um, would actually implement or make their dreams happen. Um, and now I feel like they're kind of 
doing what you're doing or there's just beginning to do what I just said here think about how they can attain their dreams which I feel like it's about love because that Taurus energy is Venus so and it's about partnership and I feel like this person's dream is to be with you they just didn't know how to do it um, and now they're like making a, a plan to make this happen um, and they're definitely there's emotions running high between two people and the end of a, a tough cycle is approaching here so we've got super moon and full moon in Capricorn okay this has been a struggle um, I feel like for both of you I just kind of feel like Virgo this is a really a message here that this person is catching up to you you've matured a lot faster than this person so you've gotten to the point where I don't know it's like I guess you've grown up more and now you're kind of like okay now I I know to stay away from certain relationships that aren't going to be healthy for me if if because I, I feel like it's two people who were in a connection together that was very immature, very unhealthy, and maybe both of you feeding off of each other, and things just getting worse. I feel like either you broke the cycle or you were forced to break the cycle, and that was really tough. What you've been going through is tough because you, your heart may be hurting, but I feel like this person's heart is hurting too, and it's like I'm hearing... Um, spirit saying just want to both be better either for each other um, and if that doesn't happen because two people decide it's not going to happen then to be better for somebody else right and I feel like you know Virgo this can be healed if you know I, I feel like you're on a healing journey journey and I feel like this person is too and I feel like they want to hear, heal, oh, okay, that was your sign. I feel like this person wants to heal this and come, they're in love with you. They're falling in love with you. They're missing you. All right, we have Libra, Pisces. We have Scorpio, Cancer. Okay. Okay, let me see here. Okay, September, they're telling me September 1st and 2nd, birthday, the 8th and the 11th, the 7th also, the 12th and the 15th for September. And for the August babies, the end of August, I'm hearing August 27th, uh, August 25th, okay, um, hold on a second, all right, we also, so I'm picking up Leo also, and Okay, so they're saying for for the Pisces birthdays, um, they're giving me um, February 27th, the 21st, so the week of the 21st through the 27th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, that's for February, oh, it got really dark. I'm sorry about that. Hold on. <laughs> it must be a sign. I don't know why it got so dark. Um, so that's February Pisces. And then for March, the birth dates I'm picking up are on the 12th, the 7th, the 8th, the 11th. The second and the 15th okay 
Um, for Libra, I'm getting um, October 8th. I'm getting Scorpio, October 28th. Um, November 11th. November 7th and 8th and the 12th. And the 21st, so that's a cusp with Sagittarius. And then, yeah, so I'm just kind of calling out um, birth dates here. That If it's not your person, don't sweat it. I just wanted to give you some birth dates um, to just kind of give you a little more qualifier. Also for Cancer, um, they're giving me July 12th. July um, 20th. Somebody was born in 1970, I'm hearing. Okay, I'm going to leave that there and then get a couple of charms and then we're going to. Oh, now it's super, super bright. What? Craziness. All right, let me get a couple of charms. Okay, so we've got a big giant oak tree or some type of big old oak or big old tree. So you might have like a shade tree or a big tree somewhere near or somebody has a big tree somewhere near their home where they live or near their house. Okay, um, that's very like profound. And I'm also getting... Somebody likes the color red, wears red a lot, or there's they have a, they have something around them that's red, that is like significant. It could be a vehicle, and they're telling me um, so. So the suit in the deck in a deck of cards. The suit of diamonds is um, the earth signs in a deck of cards, a regular playing deck. Um, the spades are uh, the swords, the clubs are the wands, the hearts um, are the uh, cups, sorry my brain, and the diamonds are you okay and with that they're just giving me that song shine bright like a diamond so i don't know if you listen to that song or if you listen to that song and i feel like somebody here that song is relevant for someone that it's just what they're saying that song seems to be relevant for somebody okay and now they're giving you kissy lips here so you might be getting like maybe you're wearing pink lipstick or you're gonna wear some pink lipstick soon. And um, somebody's meeting somebody on a plane, getting off a plane, like getting ready to meet someone. Somebody's either gonna be making sure their makeup looks good, whether they're getting off the plane or getting on the plane, if you're meeting somebody. So there's definitely, okay, somebody might be a pilot or they fly planes. Maybe you see a jet up in the air as you're listening to this reading passing by. There's something. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you see that? That was a really strong. Look, and my camera just went crazy. That was a really strong message there about, a, about travel that I was trying to say. Let me see if I can bring this back. Wow, did you see that? That just. I always have. Um, there you go. Emotions are running high. I always have stuff going on in my readings. <laughs> Every once in a while, spirit pops in to give a confirmation. So right when I said that, if you if you want to rewind it back, there's something to do here with travel. That was a confirmation. Somebody's coming your way. Okay? They're coming towards you, either by plane, train, bus, or vehicle. You're going to be getting a visitor. And it could be at the end of the month going into July okay so Virgo <laughs> I'm gonna end this reading because I need to sage <laughs> so yeah if you guys want to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below join me Saturday this Saturday the 18th at 11 a.m. I'm gonna be going live 
and uh, doing live personal mini readings for you guys so there'll be a link there if you just want to purchase one um, if you are already a member of my channel you can just pop in and ask your question so I'll be there 11 a.m. usually I'm there until 11 a.m. Eastern till 1 p.m. Eastern um, but I'll play it by ear if it gets really crazy busy maybe I'll be there longer if it's like hardly anybody's in there I'll just stay for a little while all right, you guys, so I will see you tomorrow for your weekend reading. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. Love you guys. Bye.